this is our last week before vacation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is. Okay, so if you sleep, you dream. Okay, so let's look at this idea about like conditionality, a sure thing, present tense and present tense. If you sleep, you dream. Wenn du schläfst, Marissa, what do you think? Traums mm. do? Does it have an umlaut or no? No. Yes, it does. Okay. So how do I say that? Um, Traums do? How do I make that sound, John? Traums? Yeah. Giovanni, uh, read that sentence for me. Then du schläfst, traumst du. That's a little uh, weird. Yeah. Traumst. That's here. It's like an E in there. Traumst. It's like an E. Traumst. Traumst du. Traumst du. Oi, 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 oi. It's like this. Oi. Oi. How do I spell oi? Oi. 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 Yeah. Trying to do, and it's an A and E. It's an A and an E together, isn't it? Is that right? What is it? It's an A and an E together. A umlaut. A, a umlaut u. Oi. Oh yeah, sorry. I, I meant an A with an umlaut means like the A E sound. I always seem to recall. A, which could be oi. Yeah, A by it, with you. It's oi. Trying. Your health suffers yeah. if you smoke, John. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Ihre Gesundheit leidet, wenn rauchst du. Ah, yeah, but what type of preposition is wenn? Ah, wenn, uh, if. Uh, zero, one, two, or n. Ah. Zero? No, what are the zero ones, Giovanni? Do you remember? Um, uh, it's that I do so. Yeah, I do so. Which is? Aber, aber den, aber den, und, 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 das, not das, definitely not das. It's, okay, so, den. it's like, it's not in this, a do so. Those are zeros, there's only five. There's aber, den, und, sundown. An odor. All right, I guess again, John. Ben. So it's one or n. One or what? Sorry. No, you're wrong, man. It's n. No, I didn't hear what you said. One or. It's either type one or type n. Oh, type n. So Ben is always type n. Ben is always type n. It doesn't change, not for anyone. Can you finish this off, John, or do you want Giovanni to have a go? Yeah, Giovanni can have a go. Ven? Um, you then, smoke. Um, oh, it's got to be, look, it's era. Era, yeah. Like, it's uh, era. So so your house at uh, Eden. Then Eden. You, you suffer. So what is the you going to be here? It's formal. C. It's C. Fancy um, smoke. Rauchs. It's not Rauchs if it's C, though, my friend. It's ah, Rauchen. Rauchen. It's Rauchen. Okay. Here you go. When do you die in a puts in? You get cavities. That's this. What verb do I want to use for get? Um, geben. Geben will be give. Be common. For common, let's use for common. Okay, who's going to do it? Uh, it's Marissa's turn, but John, I'm going to give you another chance. Wenn du deine Sahne nicht putzt. What comes next? What kind of word? Um, <clears throat> like a... Like a Who knows? It has to be a connecting word, right? No, here's the connecting word. It's at the start. 
It's the so, uh, conjugated verb. Yes. What is it going to be then? Because. Becomes. Yes. Becomes, Becomes to these carriers. Okay. Sometimes what you're saying is likely, but it's not a fact. If you try, you will succeed. When du versuchst, the rest of it's going to be a, a future. What's it going to be? You will succeed. It's a future. What goes uh, there? What kind of word goes there? Same answer as Giovanni gave a second ago. Conjugated verb. Thank you. Conjugated verb. Which one? That. Yeah, but it's going to be you who succeed. So it's not going to be weird. It's going to oh, be. Oh, it's be um, wirst du. Thank you. Thank you, Marissa. Wirst. Can you finish it off? Um, wirst du versuchen? Ah, we already have. Okay. Oh. If you try, you will succeed. Okay. Okay. When, if you try, you will succeed. Wirst okay. du. Okay. Wirst du Erfolg sein? Yeah. A false sign. Thank you, Marissa. I'm being very, very polite today. Sometimes, do you think it's nice, or is it is it a bit is it a bit creepy? No. All this politeness. Things like if I won the lottery, if I owned a zoo, is it likely that I'm going to win the lottery? Could be. No, it's unlikely. It's not but... very likely, Giovanni. It's very unlikely. If I owned a zoo, I I'm not the chances of me owning a zoo. Unlikely. Well, Tiger King, look at him. Highly, <laughs> highly unlikely. So, in order to make, we're going to do it with Verdin. Holy shit, we're going to do it with Verdin. The E becomes a U and it takes an umlaut. Ah, thank you, Peter, for explaining that. So, the first form is going to be, what's the first form going to be? U with an umlaut. What's the rest of it? Würde. Yeah. And how do I pronounce that? Würde. Ver, ver, This is like ver, ver. But it's like lips together. Show me your lips together. Ver, ver, ver. ver that one's verda. What's the second one going to be? Wirst. No, man, it's not wirst because we're doing something new. <laughs> yeah, but you said e becomes you. The e becomes a U, so it's got to be U, and the U is umlaut. Yes, Würdest. And what's the third one going to be? Würden. Würdet. You want it to be Würdet, but is it Würdet? Ah, uh, no, it's Würdet. It's Würdet, but what is Würdet? The fifth one. The fifth one. Uh, Würdet. What's the fourth form going to be? Yes. Würden. Burden, right. Not likely. Conditional <laughs> equals conditional burden plus the infinitive. If I won a lottery, I would buy a yacht. When ich die lottery gewinnen würde, würde ich eine yacht kaufen. Now, notice. Yeah. If I won, if I won the lottery. Look, this is a past tense in English. In English, this is a past tense. If I won. In German, it's, it's, a, it's a conditional on both sides of the equation, yeah? In English, it would be, if I won, past tense, I would buy. Doesn't really make sense, does it? If I won. If you think about it. It's like, oh, in German, it's, if I, were I to win, would I buy a yacht? Yes? Interesting. You can express this statement the other way around. I would buy a yacht if I won the lottery. If... Who's doing it? John? Great. I would buy a yacht. Ich, 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 ich werde, oh no, ich würde, würde. so this is, this is the condition, ich würde ein yacht, eine yacht, eine yacht, buy, uh, buy, uh, kaufen, kaufen, wenn ich die lottery, wenn ich die lottery um, uh, the what uh, given yes, um, given him wooden. No, man, it's the same, Würde. It's the same because look here. I have here, I have the subject. There's the subject. The subject is ich. Here, the subject is ich. I didn't change it. Ich würde, I, ich würde. if I won the lottery. 
See what I mean? See what I mean? This kind of statement does not have to be virtually impossible. It needs to be unlikely. I would buy a car if I needed one, but I don't, and I'm unlikely to. Haha. <laughs> so, Giovanni, yeah. I would buy a car. I, I had a question. So, like, would it be bad, uh, wrong if I would have said, Ich würde einen Jagd kaufen, wenn ich die Lottery uh, gewinnen habt? Yes, that would be incorrect. Okay. Yeah, like because the verde needs to be the same. Yeah, because it's it's verde on both sides of the equation. Yeah, it's verde. <coughs> but oh, yeah, it's the it's the mirror uh, thing. It's yeah. a mirror. It's a mirror thing. It's a mirror. Yeah, but, yeah. This, but but the way you just the way you described in English where you put the past tense and it doesn't make sense. We just think it does. If I were to win, <laughs> I, I would. Win. It's future, future almost. Whereas we go, if I won, past tense, it, it makes no sense. But we just think it does. It makes it's no ridiculous. sense. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. If, yeah. Ridiculous. But that's what we do. I would buy it's, a car if I needed one. Who's doing this, Giovanni? I would. Is it Giovanni? Yes. Yeah. I would buy a car. Verde ein Auto. Verde ein Auto. Buy. Kaufen. Kaufen. I need one. Vinny. Ich ein uh, uh, yeah, I would need one. Uh, so I really need two. The verde. Uh, What's need? Brauchen. 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 And now the verde part. Verde. Verde. Now this this is ein, this is an interesting little thing. Ein here. Eines. Almost. Take out the e. Eins. 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 Yeah. I think uh, we've done that before. Who remembers? Yeah. Who remembers this? I, I remember it, yeah. Huh? I, I don't remember the rule, though, but we did it. The rule is that... <laughs> yeah, I remember it. It's a, it's, a, it's a strong pronoun. It's a pronoun without a noun. Here it's ein Auto. Ein is a yes. pronoun. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So when we take the car out of the equation, because we're just referring to it, because we were just talking about it earlier, it comes there. Okay, here we go. Let's do some more, because it's fun, isn't it? Yes, Marissa, hello. He would go there if they invited him. Oh, um, I should have done that. Oh. He would go there. Er würde. Er, yeah, würde. Dorthin. Dorthin, thank you, Dorthin. Um, go there. Go. Uh, ge ein Laden. Oh. What's it going to be? Ge ein Laden. No, ein Geladen. Hold on. Well, we're doing this, son. He would go he there. He would do there if they invited him. Oh, um, ge, um, ge gangen. Why do I make it a past tense? Uh... <clears throat> Okay, let's go back. You've been to, so you've been to, you've been to English. Skiing. <laughs> yeah. Um, he, he would go there, then see if they um, invited him. This looks like a past tense, but it's not. Okay. A past tense. Just invite. Okay, so um, einladen. Einladen, and then whack in. Um, further. Yeah, but it's they. Um, so, verdet. No, it's they. Type six. Verden. Ver, verden. Verden. Say verden. Verden. Because we got vorden, and that's like that's about like vorden. That's about passives, isn't it? Verden is about conditionals. Vorden is about passives. Ah, now I'm starting to. Understand. May I ask a question? Verden. Uh, May. Uh, uh, so why wouldn't it be then z in ein Laden verden? It is, wenn sie einladen würden. No, wenn sie im. If they, oh, it would be. Wenn sie ihn, it would be ihn. In. Wenn okay. sie ihn einladen würden. Because it's row two, they invite who? Him. Row two. If she earned more, mm. she would move. Hmm, who's doing this? John. But is it row two? Because isn't it row three? Because the invitation's going to him. Is it invited to him or invite him? Invite him. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Row three and two is always difficult. I think the same as you on that. It always gets me. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. What, say that again, Pete. Say that, say that again, Peter, what you just said, because that, that's my problem with two and three sometimes when there's a person involved. Did we invite him or invite yeah. to him? To, yeah, so if, yes. Because I always make that bit of as if I invited him, so I invited to Yeah, okay. Yeah. You don't invite The invitation him. went to him, right? So. Yeah, the invitation went to him. Yeah. So, so then I, be, I sent the invitation to him. Yeah, that would be Rose yeah. 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 If she earned more, she would move. Who's doing it, John? Then see Mayor. Uh, um, the the uh, so see the the dined. Fair. I need the infinitive. Oh, the the dean. Yeah, Ferdinand. Mayor Ferdinand. Now I need. What do I need as a helper? Uh, it, um, um, if she earned more, well, if you know, I need a helper. If she earned more, it can only be. Oh, Verda. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's, yeah. All, that's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, Verda. She yeah. Um, uh, I want to say Verda first, but I think it's uh, Umsehen. Oh, so, Umsehen sie würde. würde. Okay, John. So, like, we've got a, a fundamental problem here. Which is that, that that's incorrect? It's incorrect because there's the comma there. What comes after the comma? The conjugated uh, verb. Wenn sie mehr verdienen würde. Conjugated verb, blah, blah, blah. Full verb. But you see, I'm being nice to you by putting it in. But it's not right. It's this. Uh, now, like, I, I guess you're getting confused because... If I had something here like das, uh, then, oh, I can tell. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd want to do that, but that, that, that was really sense. that was really interesting because I wanted to say verda first, but I thought no. it was wrong because of the previous example. But that, but that's because I was didn't think about the ven in the previous example. Yeah, like the ven is controlling it because the like if like this is a condition, I'm putting yeah. the condition first. If she earned more, she'd do that. Or I could say she'd move if she earned more. Which do you prefer? It doesn't matter. They're both people say both. But yeah, if you say if you, you put the if in there, more. if you put the if in there, you switch the ums in and the verb. Right? <coughs> Depends on where the so it's either it's either then dot 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 comma verb conjugated. <coughs> dot 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 other verb or it's like this subject verb conjugated other verb this then it's comma then dot 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 verb verb conjugated does that help you yeah yeah, I would travel more if I did not work. That's for you, Giovanni, and that's that's true, isn't it? Uh, ich um, werde not werde. No, ich ich würde Ver, ich würde mehr er reisen reisen if I uh, did not work. Ich nick um, uh, arbeite arbeite arbeiten. Arbeiten, thank you. Arbeiten. Uh, verde. Not verde. 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 Excellent. Marissa, here verde. we go. If they read more, they would learn German faster. Wenn sie mehr. Um, verde lesen. No, verden lesen. Problem with that. What's the problem? Oh no, lesen verde. Yeah, lesen, lesen, but it's, it's, verde. They. it's they, so it's not verde, it's... Oh, verden. It's verden. They would learn faster. They would learn, they would learn faster. Let's just take okay. that, make it better. They verden, sie schneller yeah. lernen. Yeah, verden sie schneller lernen. This is... 
This is good on many levels. Uh, John, would you sit there if we open the windows? It's a question. Um, Würdest du dahin? No, but it's just sit. There's no movement. Würdest du da... Mm, oh, uh, no movement. So, setzen. The other one. <laughs> Shit, sitzen. Yeah. Sitzen. So, sitzen so is, is that, so sitzen row two in that? Uh, there's no object. Where does you die sitzen? Is sitzen, is sitzen the movement of sitting down or no, being sat down? No, no, sitzen is the state of being sat. Yeah. As opposed to, would you sit down there? Would you sit down there? Would be different. Would you sit down there? Now it's, then it's a movement, and then it would be setting. Setting, and I have to decorate this. Uh, Not just da, it's dahin. Dahin, and setting is reflexive, therefore. It's uh, dick sets and therefore verd is do dick dahin sets dahin sets in. Oh yeah, lucky we did that, huh? Wenn wir <laughs> die Fenster open. Um, oh, uh, wenn wir die Fenster, if we open the windows, die Fenster um, au, um, aufmachen uh, würden. Good, John. Verden, six sets in. You would get bored if you worked there all the time. That's the truth, isn't it, Kevin? Oh, look, it's Gelangweilt. We were doing this yesterday. That's in your movie. You're going to get that. You would get you, bored if you worked there all the time. Do you? Verdest. Verdest, Giovanni. Verdest. Verdest Gelangweilt. Do Verdest Gelangweilt become? Become. No, no, don't make that mistake. Don't make that funny mistake. Bekommen is not is not become in German. What is become? Um, this is a freak out. What's become? Staff. Worden. No, not worden. Werden. Werden. God damn. <laughs> You would I said became <laughs> not become. Yeah, then you would become bored. You thought you can start arbeiten. Yeah. Arbeiten uh, werden. I know there. Not werden. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> what is it? Verdest. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. I want to show you something now. Uh, let's do this. Uh, stop the share. Uh, this is especially for, especially for Giovanni. Uh, but like, it's, it's good for everybody because this is really tough for uh, us English speakers. Verda, verda, vorda, verda, verda, vorda, right? And like you think, okay, yeah, I've got that, but let's see. You see my browser. No, like I don't do this very often. I never use this uh, Google Translate, but it is good for this. You have to stay with me, Giovanni. I know I've got only three minutes left. I'm very time conscious. Come on. Yeah, I have time. Okay, hold on. Just like maybe it's going to do it. Is it going to do it? Translate. Are you going to do it? Up comes Google Translate. Yes or no? Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. Yes. Okay, let's go to Google Translate. Google Translate has got, it speaks to you, doesn't it? So here it's useful. I want everyone to practice this. Oh, uh, come on, man. I'll just go to sleep.
Okay, here we have werden. Here we have worden. And here we have werden. Okay, ready? Werden, wurden, würden. Werden, wurden, würden. Werden, wurden, würden. Werden, werden, wurden, würden. Werden, wurden, würden. Werden, wurden, würden. Werden, wurden, würden. Ja, yeah, we have fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do I get out of 10 for this one? 